Hello and welcome. My name is Kai Limburger, and today I'd like to introduce how to work with the sliding, sliding units ASE in Chicago. Um, we've got the following subjects. I'd like to introduce the templates for sliding system ASE 60 and 80.hi. I want to talk about the system specific settings, and uh, we also do some corner units. And finally, we talk about the spindle safety barrier. So for that, I go into Chicago and uh, I've prepared some items here. And I like to start with uh, templates I like to show you. That's the reason why the first unit is not finished. I double click on it. And uh, then I go to the system templates for the sliding units. And here you find sliding and lift slide units. So we've got a uh, different kind of templates here. So one template is, for example, a single track running externally. And uh, depending on the template you have selected, on the right hand side, the appropriate profile systems are shown there. Um, if we go to the single track running internally and we select this one, you see the list is shortened to the Shuku ASE systems because uh, only these systems are available for internally running units. So when I go to the single track with the top light and I wait for this profile systems which are shown, you see here only the ASS profile systems are available. Um, when I select the next one, which um, I choose now the double track, you see a lot of sliding profile systems are available here on the right hand side. If I go to the double track 90 degree corner, here you see the ASE and ASS profile systems are here available. And um, if I go to the double track with the all glass corner, then you see only the ASE 67PD and 77PD.hi manual are available. How about the triple track ones? I click on the 300 triple, triple track and you see here also a couple of sliding systems are available, available. So that means depending on the template you select, you will get the appropriate and suitable aluminum sliding systems on the right hand side. What I like to do, I want to use the 200, the double track, and um, I choose the ASE 80.hi as an example. <clears throat> so this is my unit now, and first I take a look at the left hand side, the uni parameters for the double track. And um, I select the unit height of 2200, for example. The type you can select here, you can either use the standard or design line. What is the difference? I like to show a section here of the standard, you see that you get the this interlock section here in the center of your sliding units. Whereas if I use the design line, you get smaller profiles here in the interlock section. I want to go back now to the standard. So with this kind of section, you can see here in 
the preview. And uh, let's take a close look at the bottom out of frame, uh, this section here. Here you see that there's a normal bottom out of frame, and you see where the vent is running. I close this, and now I do the change to level threshold here. I check this box and see what happens now. First, I take a look now here at my at the bottom of the frame you see in here the level threshold is on the this level here and the sliding part is also running here on this level and what else happened it automatically changes the type of operation from sliding to lift sliding because according to the rules of our catalog so if i use the level threshold only lift sliding items are available i go back here to the sliding units and to standard. So if you select the bottom out of frame, you can also add some base profiles here. If you go to the sub menu, here one base profile is shown. And if you go to can also be used as a base profile, you see here the article number 265705. And if you click on that, let's see what the section does. Here, you've got this article, including this base profile here, right? By selecting now the base profile 265705, you also get as an addition the 265324. Right, let's go to the technical settings. If we use the technical settings here, and first I go to the color, you see here, and that's remarkable, the RC2 reinforcement. You can get them in natural metallic, white, or in black. The reason is, you see, in case if you use the RC2 reinforcement, you see them if you open the vent. Going now to the type for the level threshold. If we highlight this, you've got two different options, threshold profile wide or threshold profile narrow. And for this, I call up the help you find here at the bottom if this selected. And here are the two threshold profiles. So a white, the white one or the shorter one, which stops here in this area. If we go to the type, there are molded pieces for insulating profile at the bottom. Let's make this dialog a bit larger. And for insulating profiles at the side. And also if I use the help file here, you see that the molded piece for insulating profile bottom or molded piece for the profile at the side. So that is also a matter of the pre-selection you can use also for the system default settings. If we go to the fittings, here you can define the locking option, type one, which means the locking is in the outer frame, type two, you get a strike plate, so that means the locking is in the vent. So going back 
now to the item data here. <clears throat> and uh, I haven't checked the level threshold. So therefore I click into my opening and I like to show you the different opening types. Here are some opening types of course shown, which I have used in my project at the beginning. And you get here the different type of openings you can use with this kind of construction. And so these small pictures are the view from the inside. So that means here in this case of the type 2a.2, .2, so the, the left vent runs internally and the right vent runs externally, okay? So, and what I like to do is I want to use the type 2a slash uh, one. Click on OK. So, and let's see with this type, the type of operation now is stands on sliding. And here you can use lift slide also and slide and lift slide, including Tiptronic. What happens? If I select the level threshold and I go back to my type of operation, I just have lift slide and lift slide with Tiptronic. So automatically, Shukal shortens, according to the rules of our catalog, the type of operation. So I remove this, click back into my opening. Um, the composite type you see here for the profiles, here you've got different kind of options. You can show all of them or you can pre-select vent with a single split insulating bar, vent with a fixed insulating bar, vent with a double split insulating bar. So that means the further dialogue here if you select one of these three options here, will shorten the article dialog to the appropriate profile numbers. I want to show you here the difference. Now I select all and I go to the interlock section profile and I also make this dialog a little bit larger. And let's take a closer look to some of these profiles so that you can see the difference. So if we use the 504040, this one here, this article number, so that is a vent with a fixed insulating bar. If we see the article number, Uh, for our um, four nine zero two hundred here it is. Couldn't see this here. So that is the vent with a double split insulating bar, and this profile needs fixing of the half profiles during the machine processing. And if we take a look to the next profile, one uh, five one three three hundred, that is this profile here. That's a vent with a single split insulating bar. And um, what I like to do, I want to use now the 490160, that one. And um, I click now on OK. So you see here, by using this profile, automatically a reinforcement profile is selected here, including the cover cap 
if I show you the section here, you see that here exactly you get the reinforced one. Now let's again let's change the article number. Let's say uh, 504080. 504080. This profile is first used without a reinforcement, but you can check this and you can select the reinforcement here afterwards. And then it will also be added here to your section. So I want to go back to uh, 490.160. That one that I've last used, and I remove now my reinforcement profile. So, because it's not needed. Talking about the reinforced profiles, please note that for sliding and lift sliding units, the preliminary structural calculation is not carried out for the profiles and glass. So please see the diagrams in our order manual so that you can be sure that the structural calculation is okay by selecting the correct profiles. Now let's talk about the fitting options. So here, here are the fitting options. And uh, with this profile here, you get automatically a 200 kilogram fitting, including or excluding a limited stay. So that's always for profiles with a profile width of 82 millimeters. And in case if I use another profile, Let's see here the five uh, four nine zero two hundred, which has got a face outside width of ninety two millimeters. In this case, you get a three hundred kilogram fitting, right? So depending on the interlock section you get the fitting according to the profiles. So the locking comfort you can use is uh, without locking comfort or you can use also a smart stop. What I like to do now is I want to change my unit to lift slide. So, and let's see what can I do with the lift slide. If I go to my fittings here, the fitting option, also a 500 kilogram fitting is available. So you cannot use a sliding with a 500 kilo, but you can use lift sliding with 500 kilo fittings. And um, if we take a closer look here, also the dialogue extends, you can use a closing assistant. So with a handle damper, without a handle damper or automatic. And also you've got the locking comfort in this case with a smart close and a smart stop, which was not available for both um, selections were not available when you use the sliding type. Well, if we use now the lift slide with Tiptronic, You see here, the composite type is faded out. So because all the other options are not available according to the rules of our catalog, only vents with a double split insulating bar are given in the submenu of the 
article numbers for your interlock section. So, and please also note, if you use Tiptronic, also the fittings dialog has been extended. So the installation position and accessibility, and uh, so the use of the building space, the risk analysis here is shown in different stages here, and also the operation manual or automatic, or you can here use without latching feature and visual inspection and brackets dead man. So, and that's also according to the rules of our catalog. And now I jump back into my presentation. So here you find in our catalogs in the order manual, the risk analysis here, which shows exactly which type of operation you need for the different situations at your construction site. Good, coming back with the uh, in Chicago. And um, these are all the options I like to show you with this kind of type. And now I close my item. And what I like to do is I want to open the next unit that is a one check all glass corner. So the glazing for the all glass corner is, if I select this here and we double click here on the preview, it, shown, it shows here that the all glass corner is from the outside and the vent runs internally. And if we go to the unit parameters here, you see the corner construction. You've got an outer corner or an inner corner, 90 degree. <clears throat> Just by clicking on this menu, you get an inner corner. I go back to my outer corner now. And if we go to the unit parameters here, you see you've got the width of the level one, which is this one here, and also of the level two, which is that one. And uh, you can define the width individually and let's use the level one should be 4,000. You see, you get here unequal level dimensions, if you like. So, If you now go to the glass, I double click on it. <clears throat> Here you see the glass corner is, is, is positioned like that. And here you can use glass design in the corner, but step for level one or level two. Let's also check the next section here, as you can see, it's exactly the other way around. Or you can go to the glass design in corner to Mitra. In this case, the section looks like this. All right, if we click in one of these fields here, then you can see the dimension of the opening um, can be defined individually. Now let's make, instead of 2000, I want to get this in 1500 here. So that can also be done here on the, on the second level if I select this field and Coming now back here to my, my first level. Um, so you need to know that the changes here of the, the profiles, composite type, fittings or glass takes effect to both levels. So they cannot be defined individually. So these parts, which means profiles, composite type, fittings, 
and glass takes always effect to both levels here. I close my item now and I go now to my third predefined unit that is the two track corner. And if we take a look at this section here, it looks like this. So the vent opens here now to the to the left. Here you see it looks like that. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a closer look to this item here. So the vent runs here internally. And um, the width of the level two can also be changed. Let's say I can use here 3000 to the, to the second level here. And if we go to the field properties, also the dimension of the opening can also be changed. And for example, I can again make a 1.5 meter here for this opening, or I can also use the other way around, 1,500 for this opening type. Well, um, the, also here, the changes of profiles and composite type and fittings and glass take, takes always effect to both levels. One exception is here, the locking comfort that can be defined individually. I go back to this kind of opening, right. So um, then let's go to the next one. That is here my example number four. It is a single track unit I like to show you here. That is what I have what I have used. It is a single track and the vent is running internally. Why is this that important? Only for this type you can use a spindle safety barrier here only in case the vent runs internally. And there are a spindle height is possible for uh, from 948 to 1148, according to the rules of our catalog. And if you do not have predefined, predefined any glass, an automatic generated or an automatic generated glass will be created and attached to your spindle safety barrier. So what else can you do? You can use different kind of edge, edge protections. Here, you can use the standard or the slim one. And um, well, so coming back to the glass, it can of course be changed individually whatever you like to do with the spindle safety barrier. And um, that is about this construction. Let's take a closer look to the section here. Here you see it looks like that. And if I make a horizontal one, you see here the spindle safety barrier is shown here, but at the moment without the glass, so don't worry, it will be calculated when you make a printout. So ladies and gentlemen, so that is the webinar for the sliding units ASE. I hope it helps you in your daily work. 
thank you for your attention. Um, so please also see other kind of webinars in our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And I say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.